folks, Okie Flyer here, your redneck pilot with you once again. Uh, today I'm not going to be doing any flying, unfortunately. Uh, my family's been sick with the flu. I'm feeling a little under the weather myself. But I found time to get out to the hangar and piddle around a little bit. And uh, just because we ain't flying, that don't mean we can't do a little aviation talk. So today I think I'm going to do just a little uh, redneck tech episode for you today. I've had a few people after watching my first uh, little kind of test run video that I did had some people asking about my setup got some compliments on that and I appreciate it given that it's my you know first time doing this kind of deal uh, so I really do appreciate the positive comments and I thought that today uh, I don't want to keep any secrets from you so I'll just show you how I do it let's go around here to the other side of the plane here now for the wing view, what I got here is this, uh, that's a Hitachi Rapid Reflex something or other. Uh, that's 32 times digital zoom. That's a powerful camera there folks. State of the art, top of the line. The only trouble is it's a little bit uh, bulky, offers a little wind resistance, but I find that if you push this down, Man, she glides through the air like a dream. Now, specifically, I had a couple of questions about my tail camera. I'm pretty proud of this one. Got this second hand at a garage sale. And that's her right up there, if you can see it. That is a Sony Handycam. That's 450 times zoom. Boy, I'm mighty proud of that dude. Shoots real good video. Again, a little bulky, but if you put the little eyepiece down, boy, she does a good job. Moving on to the interior, I got a couple of deals set up in here you might be interested in. Excuse me. Up here on the dash, the lighting's not very good. I don't know if that'll focus. This here's another Sony, and uh, I believe that one takes high eight. Them high eights are getting a little bit hard to find these days, but you can usually find them at garage sales and whatnot. And then one more time, another handy cam. This one here's 120 times digital zoom, and I just mounted that on a on a regular old tripod there seems to do the job just fine and buckle it down I took my other seat out and I just buckled that tripod down with my wife's seat belt she don't like to fly with me when I'm filming anyway so uh, I took her seat now uh, I had another request asking how I get the audio and here's another little setup I'm pretty proud of what I do is I take this super USB cassette capture man it's this ain't your, your regular old Walkman uh, this is newfangled stuff just stick your cassette right in there boom got the mic plugged in right here runs over to a lavalier or again lavalier however you say that you can see the cord there runs right up into my wife's headset 
cinch her down with a rubber band and you are good to go man just hit play on that and uh, you're capturing audio well ladies and gents that's all for today I apologize for such a short video but hopefully you you were able to learn something look I know there's there's plenty of different stuff out there <clears throat> I don't consider myself that techie of a guy but what I got is working for now hopefully if I can make a little dough off of these here YouTube videos maybe I can upgrade some of that equipment but for now that's getting the job done and I hope you enjoy these videos I've been making there's more to come and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe somewhere down there I see people pointing I don't know what they're pointing at figured I'd do it like and subscribe and uh, once again this is Okie Flyer your redneck pilot peace <laughs>